Hey guys, I've got another tutorial for you! Yay! Okay, um, so, I've tried to explain how my CVVC autos, like, work in Utah to, uh, I've tried to explain in depth to about three different people, and they all told me, like, the exact same thing. It was very silly. They all said, I'm sure that makes sense, but I'm a little bit brain dead right now. Sorry, I'm tired. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. So, l literally, they all said that. And they were all like, sure, but I'm brain dead. So, I want to explain with with some, like, picture, audio, video, talking interactions. So, maybe the explanation will be easier to understand. Because apparently just typing, it doesn't work. People are like, what are you talking about? I don't know. So, I'm going to try, I'm, I'm gonna try and explain how autos work in general, and I'm going to talk about the three different kinds, I'm going to talk about CVs, I'm going to talk about VCV, and I'm going to talk about, um, CVVC. So hopefully, um, if you're, if you're new to autoing, if you're, if you're old to autoing, hopefully you'll be able to be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And uh, so I, yeah, I want you to not just know how to do autos, but I want you to understand how the autos work. So you can take your own utau and go, oh, I want it to sound like this, and do that so it sounds like that. So, so okay, let's start. Starting with Natsuko's CVs. So let's take a look at her ta. Okay. The red line right here is the pre-utterance right here, second from the bottom. It's, um, this is where the note itself starts. Um, well, it's not where it starts. The note starts here. But this is this is where the note um, starts. Anything before this is um, being pushed into the previous note before it. So let me sh let me just show you what that looks like. This is where the red line is. This right here where it has this thick thicker pink line below it. Um, this this that right there that start is where the red line is. So, let's look at her again. The way um, Utau works is, the vowel needs to start there. It's, um, it seems to be a timing thing, but you want the vowel to start um, where the note is. I think it might have something to do with how we sing. I haven't, I haven't researched this or, or looked it up or anything, but it seems to be that we, when we sing, we time the vowels to the music, not the consonants. So you want, you want the, um, you want the preutterance to, st to be where your vowel starts, so you tau times the consonants to the beginning of the notes. Hope that made sense to everybody. Um, I'll, I'll look at it, um, actually let's, let's take a look at where that is in the envelope. The red line, the preutterance line, is right here, it's this gray line. That is the red line in the envelope. Okay, so let's take a look at um, overlap. Overlap is this green line right here. It's the last option over here. It's the overlap. Um, this is how far the previous note comes into this note and crossfades. So the note will come in this far, it'll start crossfading right here to here, the volume will be, it'll be loud here, it'll fade and it will end right at this green line. So let me show you where that is. This is where, th it's kind of hard to point to, um, this is where um, the, the ma starts fading out and it ends right here. This is also where the end of this is where the um, the beginning of this note starts and fades in, so the it so it's right there. The overlap, the green line is right here, where the ta has faded in fully, and the ma has faded out fully. That's the overlap line right there. I'll show it to you in envelope. The blue line is the overlap line, and um, I'm gonna quickly go over the cross fades right now. Um, P two P three here, in the cr in the um, cross fades that puts P two this dot right here. It puts it right on the overlap line. 
and if you press P1, P4, it puts P1 right on the overlap line. So that's what that is. Okay, so um, let's take a look at what that's doing when it, it plays. Let's, let's listen to it. So that's what it sounds like. Let's take a look at the at the Otos one more time. Okay, so the end of that ma is coming in right here. It starts cross-fading out right to this point. The ah has stopped right here. Now this note itself, even though there's nothing here, the sound starts fading inwards so it's at full volume right here at the overlap line. Right here, in between these two, is still in the pre-utterance. This is still in the ma note, but the ah has ended. There's no more sound coming from the ma. So, so here, at the end of the ma, the t is sounded right here. If you had your overlap line over here, the t would get caught in the crossfade. The ah would still be happening right here. And the t wouldn't be at full volume yet, so you would lose some of your, um, you would lose some of your, your t sound. It might sound a bit more flowy, but what I tend to think that sounds like is mumbling. You can't really hear the t. You don't know it's a t. Um, what you can try and do is blend it halfway, have part of the t. But in in my opinion, I think CVs sound best when the t is is fully sounded, um, like right where it should be, so you can hear the ta. Um, it's it's up to you, really. Do what you want. I want to tell you how these otos work, so you can make your otos how you want them to sound. So, um, cross fading. The t is here, and the ah starts right on time with the note. The ah is, is right where you've put the note. Um, so, just like that. Okay, let's take a look at um, VCV. Now, you'll have to you'll have to excuse me. I have never made. I've never bothered otoing them, because um, I just I didn't. So, but I'm gonna show you. With that, with what I just told you, I'm going to show you what the difference is when you record them like this and how they work. Okay, this is um ata, ata. So this is the overlap line. This is um the the ah from the ma is cross fading all the way till here, and the this note will be fully sounded right here. This is where the cross fade ends here. Same thing. Um, so in between or after that happens, um, all this right here will be before th um, this note starts. So it'll be sort of an odd sound. That that's what um, that's what's being put at the end there. And then um, for some reason, the um, the note starts itself in the middle of the T. Normally, I would imagine it should be um, right right at the vowel, but I'm not quite sure how Ritsu's otos were configured, um, but he seems to sing fine, so yeah. Um, but I believe the timing would sound a bit better if it was if it was on here, but I don't know. I've never made um, VCV, so I think Ritsu sounds fine, a little bit mumbly at times if he's not used right, but he sounds good. So that's what that's what is going on here. Um, if you take a look at at the sounds here, the crossfade is huge, the overlap is huge. That's why um, that's why the mods are made. They are so that it, it lines up correctly and you don't get errors. Um, if you look at the envelope, this is the this is where the um, preutterance is. So the the middle of the t sound is right here. This is the overlap, so this is the middle of the previous ah sound, is um, crossfading up until this point with the previous ah sound. 
and the 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 um mix between the notes is taken care of in here. This is where the ot sound is. The ma ta sound is. Um, I I picked these two notes not for really a word sake, but just for random sounds. Um, so this is what it sounds like. So yeah, much smoother than the CV, uh, than the C, B, yeah, than the CVs, the Netsuka CVs, because the link between these two, the link between the end of this vowel and the beginning of this consonant is is there. It's all taking place right in here somewhere. Okay, um, now let's take a look at the Otos for my CVVCs. The CVs are done the same way I just showed you for the first thing I showed you, the CVs for Netsuka. Let's take a look at the Otos for the VCs. Okay, the way I have them set up right now is a bit different than than I started, and it's probably going to change. I'm, I'm really looking for the best. Um, but right now, we'll see here that the A ah from the Ma is cross-fading until this point. This is where um, the A ah really ends. After that point is when you when you start your A ah noise before you say Ta. If you say Ma Ta, you kind of have a Ma Ta Ma Ta ah in there. Um, so the crossfading ends here. That's where the A ah is. It's a very short crossfade. And after that, you you have the end of the vowel. The end of the vowel. When when you say ah ta, you kind of your note ends in preparation for the T. So you're not just saying ma ta, you're saying ma ta. So there you go. That's where that sound is. I have the um the note itself starting with this with this blank space here. Um and this is where the consonant from the CV should come in. So I am ending the note and I'm giving it space to to start the consonant where it should be. So let's well let's take a look at the envelope for this. Um, this is the ah crossfade right here. This is um, the very end of the ah. This is where the um, the the silence the space for the consonant from the CV. So let's take a look at how the Otos are working. The the A ah from these two are blend, are crossfading right here. The Ta, the sound you saw before, the T itself is just crossfading right here. And the, um, the T itself is being said right about lined up where it would be if this was an ata, like you saw in the VCVs, it's it's put right where it would be, and then the ah starts right on the vowel, so it just sounds like this. So that's how it works. Um, you could you could have it like this. It would just you would be um you wouldn't be crossfading anything. But the point is that the the ah ends as you would end it if you were saying ma ta ma ta ma ta whatever whatever syllables you use you're going to be ending the vowel in coordination with the next consonant so that's how VCVs work and that's how CVVCs I made work so. Um, I hope that made sense to everybody. I'm not really sure how else to explain it. But when you're making your otos for whatever you're making, keep that in mind. This is how the otos work. Um, this is what I've I had to kind of really look at and figure out for myself. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please post your comments or message me or email me or add me on MSN. I'd be happy to help you. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.